Hello, I'm Dave. This is the cave. Welcome to a new video. It's been a while. But first and foremost, Happy New Year! So, as I said, it's been a while since we posted a video. It's been a busy time, Christmas and all that jazz, not only for the team, but for myself, so it's been hard to keep up with the videos. So let's recap. The last video we posted, we just beat Wolves, and uh, we were about to face Leeds and Newcastle that week, and I think we said, this about Leeds. No, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I'm not. I'll say it now, but I'm not worried about Leeds. No, it and we said this about Newcastle. 4-0, 3-0. And both predictions came to fruition as both teams were swept aside and maximum points. We then went on to sweep Leicester aside in the first half. Second half was a bit of a... Uh, ooh, but again, job got done. Three points got put in the bank. We then went to face uh, Brentford, which was a very tough game, and uh, again we ground one out and we came away with three points. The final whistle's just gone on the first game of 2022, again away to Arsenal, and again we have ground out a result, three points, and we are clear at the top of the Premier League because the other teams i.e. Liverpool and Chelsea haven't quite been as impressive as we have. Uh, Liverpool dropping points, Chelsea dropping points and from the beginning of December to being a point behind in the title race we are now 11 points clear. And to top it off Chelsea and Liverpool will be taking points off each other tomorrow so we're in a healthy position. Does that mean the title race is over, as a lot of people have been saying in the press and on the TV these last couple of days? Of course it doesn't. If we can do an 11 point, 12 point swing in a month, then surely it could all change again down the line. Now, we are into a 11 winning streak game streak, which is great. And again, last season, we were way off the pace, and around about end of November, beginning of December, we went on a run, and we caught everybody up, overtook everyone, went top of the league. We've done the same this year, we've kicked on again, but we did it from a stronger position. So, really, it's ours to lose now, surely. I mean, it is ours to lose, let's face it, we're 11 points clear. Okay, Liverpool have got a few games in hand with the... Uh, Covid situation and all the rest of it, but it's looking good, but I ain't gonna count my chickens. I'm a City fan at the end of the day, and I'm a massive pessimist. Records have been tumbling again, you know, most wins in a year and all the rest of it, but records are there to be broken, and we continue to break them year upon year. We still don't get the credit we deserve for breaking them, because obviously you've bought the title, you've bought the records and all that garbage that people talk but yeah records are there to be broken and we keep breaking them so all good 
uh, a lot of things have happened between the, this video and the last video, such as uh, Jack Grealish has had his wrist slapped for being a naughty boy, along with Phil Foden, and they sat out a few games. And if I'm absolutely honest, I don't like to slap City players, but we haven't missed him when he has sat out because I don't think he's actually kicked on enough yet. His time will come, I'm not saying he's not a good player, you don't pay 100 million for rubbish and class is permanent and all that. So I think he'll come good, but just at the moment, I think he can offer more. I think he's playing safe, I think he's doing as he's asked, he's keeping the possession of the ball, he's, t you know, he's not losing possession, but he's not expressing himself like he did in a Villa shirt. And maybe he's being told not to, who knows, we don't know do we, but for me, He's got on another level to go to. Um, Kyle Walker's been out for a while, a mixture of COVID and I think a death close to him. And he only returned to the bench today. He's missed a few games. Rodri missed a few games. So uh, there's been a lot of talk about the uh, strength in depth that City have got in their squad, which is the difference. But if you actually look at City's squad compared to the Chelsea and Liverpool squad, um, that's not actually true. We haven't got a bigger squad than those two. They've actually got more first team quality players, should we say, than we have. So, again, the media trying to put a spin on things to make us look like it's money, money, money. And nothing to do with the fact that Pep's an absolute genius and he's handled this period so well. And he's rotated the team really well and he's dealt with everything that's been thrown at him really well without making any excuses. I mean... Klopp's book of excuses just gets longer and longer and longer and longer. God, the amount of paper that they're using for that, we could uh, probably save the environment if you just stop writing excuses. Anyway, this is just a quick video, the first one of 2022, just a quick catch up on what we've missed while we've been busy and ill and Christmas and all the rest of it. And hopefully we'll, the videos will come more frequent now. Um, the next game is a FA Cup game on Friday night against, is it Swindon? At uh, Swindon, I think, and uh, who knows? Might do a watch along for that one and uh, see how that goes. Be interesting to see what sort of team Pep puts out because after the Arsenal game there, he's just been talking about uh, having no energy and all the games we've had to play and the fact that Arsenal had six days to prepare for that game and we only had two and a half. So he might put um, a couple of the kids out. Mares is obviously now off to the African Nations Cup and he's taking with him Salah and Mane and Mendy and all these other players from all these other teams. So again, coming into a period where Liverpool are going to be without a few of their talisman, Chelsea are going to be without their number one keeper and a few others. So again, that could be a factor, but that's for another video. Uh, this is just a quick recap to say we're still doing the videos. We've just had a busy time. New sign. Cheers, Dave. So, like I said, I've been Dave. This has been The Cave. Hope you've enjoyed this quick video. City are doing wonderfully, which is always good. And uh, the beer's cold, so join me in the next one because uh, everyone's welcome in The Cave, no matter who you support. You were dying for Arsenal to win that game, weren't you? Admit it, you were all out there watching, you were all dying for Arsenal to win that game. Even the commentators were wishing, they were wishing for City just to drop some points to keep it interesting because they hate the fact that we're doing so well. Admit it, you wanted us to drop those points. You needed us to drop those points. Happy New Year.